Okay, the sun is out, got my red Adidas top on, everything's all right. That means sausages. Sausages just, that's, that just tops everything off for the whole day. There is nothing better than a sausage, except this time I'm gonna do it by making them into meatballs. So the first thing to do is remove the sausage skin. So cut it in half and just take the skin off. And I've got four sausages here, my little man, his favorite thing for breakfast his sausages all the time absolutely loves them so these add two I've got four left in this packet and each sausage I'm going to divide in two okay so we will end up with eight meatballs I'm going to roll them around and stick them to a non-stick frying pan and they do contain quite a bit of their own natural fats so I've added no fat to the pan, all right? So what I'm just gonna do is let them kind of render the natural fats that are sitting in them, and let that come out. And as that happens, they'll kind of caramelize and start cooking up. And put a little splash of oil in just to help them along the way. Now, the tomato sauce, it's actually uh, a tin of vine ripened tomato and basil soup. So I'm gonna use a little bit of that. I've got some fresh tomatoes. A bit of chilli, some garlic, a few mushrooms and some of this. It's a little bit of black cabbage, Calvillo Nero cabbage. Really nice, really bitter flavour. And I've got some fresh Parmesan cheese. I'm going to grate on the top when I finish. Pasta shells here. They're going to go in. Salted water. I'm going to cook them for about 8 to 10 minutes. Whilst our meatballs are cooking. That's cooking. Sausages. Beginning to colour up. Mushrooms, just going to take the stalks off them. I'm going to thinly slice them, okay? They won't take very long to cook. The good thing about thinly slicing, it means that they'll break down quite quickly. The garlic, again, I'm going to thinly slice that. The Calvillo Nero, the black cabbage, I'm going to chop that as well, but not very thin, okay? It's quite chunky, all right? And quite often this cabbage, so you can cook this for quite a long time. It's quite robust, but actually I'm going to throw it in last minute so it's still got a lot of that irony greenness and just if there's a bit chunky crunchy ends at the bit at the end don't use that it's just a little bit tough the meatballs now you can see just beginning to set up nicely cook up nicely tomatoes gonna chop them up as well just dice them and the red chili thinly slice that everything now is on the chopping board ready to go the meatballs are cooking away, they don't take long at all. See that little bit of caramelisation, little bit of lovely colour on it. At this point, I'm going to put in the garlic and the chilli and the chopped tomatoes. And then, the trick now is to leave it still, okay? So those tomatoes will cook, they'll break down, and that pan, as it draws that moisture, it'll suck all the moisture out of the tomatoes and start to break them down. The more you move it about, the more it creates steam. The more it creates steam, the less chance it's got of breaking down. So you just leave it there and it just begins to suck all of those juices out of the tomatoes and it creates its own natural, beautiful tomato sauce. Leave it alone. Stand back. And you can see now the tomatoes are breaking down. And that juice is coming from it, that natural tomatoes. You're just making a natural tomato sauce. And then into that, this is where those thinly sliced mushrooms go in. And the same again, we'll just give that a fold through. Past the shells are cooking, they're still quite firm. The mushrooms, again, they can take so much water, so they just begin to absorb. And the sauce is being made basically from the natural juices that come from the tomatoes and the mushrooms. And I'm going to add a splash of this at the end, this uh, tomato soup. If you think actually a tin of the ready-made sauce is about, I don't know, £2, £70, £80, £3, that's a couple of quid. So it's even cheaper than buying your ready-made sauce, all right? And the yield, the, the amount you'll get from it is much more. Those tomatoes have really broken down. They've made like this lovely tomato stew. And the mushrooms as well, they're beginning to kind, kind of wilt and go soft. And they're breaking down as well. At this point, I'm gonna put in a splash of the soup. That's about it, that's all we need. We'll stir it together. We're gonna bring it up to the boil. And then I'm going to throw my Calvillo Nero cabbage, the black cabbage. Okay, so up to the boil, okay? The smell of that soup is amazing. It's mixed with the broken down tomatoes, the, the chilies, the garlic, all those flavours are coming out. The meatballs are definitely cooked. And then at this point, just put in the black cabbage. Let's put it on the top. 
I'm just going to leave it to sit on the top and just slowly kind of steam from the bottom up so where that steam can't release because that cabbage has acted as a lid okay sat there the steam's going to come out hit the cabbage and it'll cook it from the bottom and then we're just going to fold it through and just wait for that cabbage to slowly wilt you can see it changing color it's going from that kind of really raw green to quite vibrant fresh pinch of cracked black pepper and then just gently fold that cabbage through. You haven't got to move it about too much now because it is already wilted and softened. And how lush does that look? Meatball, cabbage, tomato sauce, slowly cooking out. I mean, this is literally all being cooked in the time it's taken to boil the pasta. I mean, that's how quick this tea is. And you know what? This looks beautiful. It's going to be really pretty. Why don't you send me some of the pictures of the things that you've been cooking? I would love to see them, particularly things that you've blagged together. They haven't got to be recipes that you've taken from us, something that you've made up. I would be really interested to see what you've made up and the results. I want disasters as well as good ones. Pasta's cooked, I'm going to drain it. I'm going to add the pasta to the bowl. I'm just going to gently manoeuvre it about. Make sure it all mixes. And then to finish, I'm just going to put on the top some freshly grated. Parmesan. Do you know what? If you haven't got Parmesan, it doesn't matter. It's not the be all and end all. Very simple, easy to do. Sausage, meatball, pasta.